if India is the greatest civilization, why did India have no great structures like the pyramids? Well, I could ask you something else in a similar way. The United States is the greatest uh, civilization today or empire today. Why don't they have great structures like the pyramids? The British Raj was the greatest empire in the 19th century. Why didn't they have pyramids? Right? Rome had a great, great, great uh, empire. Why did they not build pyramids? The Greeks are a great civilization. The Chinese are a great civilization. Why did not they not build uh, great structures like the pyramids? So is the benchmark of a civilization's greatness going to be how large a pyramid they can build? Why is it so? Every civilization has its own benchmarks, has its own way of expressing its culture, has its own way of expressing its civilizational outlook. Right? Um, so in Egypt, they built pyramids. We're not quite sure what the pyramids were built for, but it took a tremendous amount of labor for God knows how many years or decades to build those structures. And the labor they used was mostly slave labor. Now in India, we did not have slavery. If you ask Google, they will say, yes, you had slavery in India, you had dasas. But Google is so stupid because it is just a computer that it doesn't understand that the word Dasa means servant, not slave. Some of our emperors had the name Dasa. Some of our kings had the, had, had the name Dasa in their names, the, the term Dasa in their names. Who was King Divodas, the father of King Sudas, who won the battle of the ten kings? Why was he called Sudas? Does it mean good slave? Sudas? Yeah? Obviously not. It means good servant, good servant of the people. So, Dasa doesn't mean slave. Now, coming back to your question, we in India did not have slavery. Right? We never had slavery. And to build something as, as magnificent, let's say, and as, as, as enormous as the pyramids, would not be feasible because it served no purpose in society. It gave no value to society. What is the point of building a gigantic pyramid? What, what good does it do for society? In India, we, build, we built structures that served a good purpose in society. We had temples. Temples were not just places of worship. They were educational institutions. That's why we had temples all across the length and the breadth of the country. Then you had you know, the Mahaviharas and so much more. We, we had assembly halls, we had great baths, like in the Saraswati Hindu period of our history. So all the great monumental architecture that we constructed, it served the people, it served society, it served the civilization. I think that is more of an indicator of a civilization's greatness than constructing gigantic monuments that serve no real purpose for society. Ask yourself, what purpose did the pyramids serve in Egyptian society? Maybe some kind of... We, we're not quite sure what the pyramids were for. Because see, they were not burial places of the, of the kings of Egypt, the pharaohs. The kings of Egypt were buried in, in a different location. So we're not quite sure what purpose the pyramids served. But the pyramids did not serve any useful purpose in society as far as we, we can see did not produce, it was not a machine that produced goods. We, we don't know what it, what it did, but it, it required so much labor, which was wasteful actually. That labor could have been used for something else. So that's how Indian civilization is. It is different from Egyptian civilization. It's different from, from other civilizations. And overall, I would say that the greatness of a civilization cannot be measured in the size of the monuments it builds. The greatness of a civilization is measured in how long it, it exists and how good the quality of life is as long as it exists. That's how you measure the greatness of a civilization from my perspective.